Hi, uh, this is a very short video that's going to answer some questions about this Excellence in Leadership program. For example, what's it all about? Who's it for? What are the expectations and how can you get the most out of it? My name is Dean Newland. I am the founder and CEO of a small boutique training and development company in Phoenix, Arizona called Mission Facilitators International. We've been around for 31 years. We've worked with a variety of different industries, both locally, nationally, and internationally. I've got a team of coaches and facilitators, but our primary focus has always been, at least for the last 10, 15 years, healthcare and healthcare leadership development. We actually started this program specifically for the chiefs and vice chiefs at Honor Health four years ago, and it keeps getting better over and over again. So welcome, and I hope that you enjoy this experience. So what's it all about and what could you expect? So first of all, the program offers a unique opportunity for physicians like yourself to develop crucial leadership skills, which is often a facet that is overlooked in your training. It addresses the pressing issues of burnout, of the challenges of juggling multiple roles, of the ever-evolving healthcare landscape. We are hopefully going to be able to equip you with some new skills and new experiences around communication, around conflict resolution, about accountability, meeting management, and of course, strategic change management. The program is really hopefully going to also impact your ability to be not only a better leader, but a better team player with your colleagues and hopefully to also impact patient outcomes. So who's it for? It's again, it's for you, the vice chief. It's a 12 month program. There are six people or who are involved in this particular cohort. The three of you who are new to the vice chiefs and the three who have were elected last year. Uh, it has three different components. The first one are face-to-face -face meetings, and peer coaching sessions that we will be scheduling over the next 12 months. Those particular live sessions will be about two to three hours in length. And we're gonna find time that hopefully will work best with your schedule. Sometimes it could be during the day. Sometimes it could be done after work. That is what we're gonna be working on for the next uh, few days to really iron that out based on your availability. Uh, number two, you will have a personal leadership coach who will help you in the area that you feel is most important to make you more effective as a leader and as a physician. Uh, number three, we will have a large, what we might call a, a chief's summit. Really, it's going to take place over dinner. It'll be a time to break bread, socialize, but we will be honing in on a couple of key leadership skills that we will be teaching all of you and they will be very interactive. I will tell you that our style of training is in fact very interactive, is very participatory. So whether it's your coaching, whether it's your face-to-face uh, -face meetings, it's not a one-way we tell you, it's going to be a dialogue, it's going to be exercise, it's going to be let's roll up our sleeves and practice some of this stuff so that the retention and the reinforcement can be maximized. So uh, expectations, my team is already working on finding times for one, your coaching, and then two, these live sessions. So our expectations of you are this. Please respond to those requests for uh, your availability as soon as possible. The faster you can get back to us with those requests, the faster we can get this scheduled out. And I know, believe me, how difficult it is to get everybody uh, to agree on certain times. Be on time for your coaching calls and our live sessions. If you can't make a coaching call or a live session, please let us know as soon as possible so we can uh, take that time off of our calendars. And then also come prepared with a particular question, a concern, an opportunity that you want some help on or you wanna discuss or unpack. Um, and that way, that particular meeting, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one coaching session or with the group, will get the most benefit for you and for others. Actively participate, get the most out of this as you possibly can, um, and try to collect some feedback from other people about how they think you could improve on your leadership, if at all possible. What have you heard people say about you that you think would be helpful for you to tell your coach? 
Um, and then of course, apply whatever you learn as soon as you can in your day-to-day -day work. And then feel free to call your coach, even if it's not a scheduled call as soon, it, to, so that you can get the kinds of things that you need. One little five minute, 15 minute phone call, no big deal. Um, and then lastly, um, I want you to know that we work for you. This is also based on the principle of confidentiality. So that means whatever is discussed in coaching session and live sessions, it stays inviolate. We don't share it with anybody else within Honor Health, inside or outside the organization. Uh, you are the ones we're talking to. You're the ones we're keeping all of this confidential. Nor, by the way, should I say there's anybody asking for information about what we're doing and how we're doing it, who's saying what. So I want you to really feel and trust the fact that we will uh, honor everything that has to do with confidentiality. If we weren't able to do that, I quite frankly, we probably wouldn't be in business as long as we have. Lastly, if you have any questions, please reach out to Doctors uh, Samadar or Axberg. And if you have any questions of me, please do so. Uh, my phone number is 480-540-1689. My email address is dean.newlund, N-E-W-L-U-N-D, uh, at mfileadership.com. And please look for emails from either uh, Melissa Brown or Nisa McLaughlin, who are two people who are supporting me on this program. You will soon be partnered up with your coach. And I very much look forward to working with you in the near future.